Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be starting the Far Harbor DLC. But before we do, let's go ahead and put a level in. I did level up off recording. What we're going to do is go down through Endurance and get Aqua Boy. We're going to put only one point into Aqua Boy. It's just so we can breathe underwater and don't take any more radiation damage from water. We're going to go ahead and put on the Far From Home. And then we'll come over here and uh, go to the map. Now, I'm going to go find Sturges real quick. So I'm going to do a cut. And once we find him, uh, we're going to head over and talk to Virgil. So I'll see everybody in just a moment. We all did what we had to. I'm glad it's over. But I'm glad you're here. I've been tinkering with this laser musket. I made a few custom modifications to it that I think you might like. Here, take it for a test drive. This is a pretty good uh, musket laser rifle. It's a uh, automatic, so... But, I mean, I don't know. If you, if you like laser guns, it's cool. But I don't normally use laser weapons, so it's up to you. Thanks, Sturgis. I'll give it a try. Hey. I gotta do something to keep busy while you're out saving the world. Let's go ahead and go over to Virgil's cave. I'll see everybody over there. Your pip boy doesn't sound pleased. What say we get out of here? The radio signal from the Institute isn't coming in anymore. Something happened, didn't it? Something terrible. I'm sorry, Virgil. The Institute's gone. Destroyed. Oh. Oh, God. The Institute had done some questionable things, but... All those people... I think... I think maybe you should go. For good. I don't want visitors. All right, let's get out of here, and then we're going to head over to the castle. So let's go over to the castle, but before we do, I want to tell everybody something real quick. Number one, we're going to go talk to Sean, and Sean is going to give us uh, many quests to go get items from him, or not from him, for him to use to build uh, mods and, and weapons and stuff. I will pin a comment in the video of all the things you can give Sean. That way you can get a legendary weapon from him called the Wazer Wifle. Yeah, the Wazer Wifle. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's kind of hard to say. All right, let's go ahead and go over to the castle. Never thought the Minutemen would be a force to be reckoned with again. I stand corrected. Hey, Sean. Dad, I was so worried. I thought I'd never see you again. Is it true? Did you really blow up the Institute? Why would you do that? They were dangerous, Sean. To everyone in the Commonwealth. Yeah, that's what Sturgis said. As long as you don't leave me, it'll be okay. You're, you're not going to leave me, right? Don't worry, kiddo. I'm here for you. Okay. Oh, before I forget, Father, uh, he told me to give this to you. I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what it says, but I think it's important. What's new, kid? Hey, Dad, can you do something for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. I can really use an old telephone. They got all sorts of neat parts in them. I want to try and make something for you. Ah, look at that. I've got one right here. I bet I can do some really neat stuff with this. I hope it's useful. Maybe if you can't do anything with it, you could sell it to someone. Thanks again, Dad. I mean it. Let's go ahead and listen to Sean's holotape. If you 
you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe he is your son. It is my hope that you will take him with you. I would only ask that you give him a chance. A chance to be part of whatever future awaits the Commonwealth. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast travel over to Sanctuary. And then I'm going to fast travel back over to the castle. That way Sean will ask us to get something else for him so he can make something. So I'll see everybody in just a second back at the castle. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. I can really use an old alarm clock. I want to try and make something for you. Ah, look at that. I've got one right here. I promise I'll do something cool with it. And here, this is for you. I hope it's useful. Maybe if you can't do anything with it, you could sell it to someone. Thanks again, Dad. I mean it. Hey, Sean. Hey, Dad. Can you do something for me? Next time you're out doing stuff, can you look for something? I want to try building some new things. If you could find me a hot plate, I'd love to take it apart. I bet I can make something really useful for you. Ah, look at that. I've got one right here. I promise I'll do something cool with it. And look what I made earlier. It's for you. So after the uh, third time giving him what he wants, he'll give you the Wazer Wifle which is an okay laser rifle. It's got unlimited ammo capacity, so you'll never have to reload. Doesn't have unlimited ammo, just unlimited ammo capacity. But yeah, it's an okay laser rifle. Do you like it? Maybe if you don't need it, you could sell it to someone else. Thanks again, Dad. I mean it. Let's go ahead and fast travel over to Diamond City now. Even good people do crazy things when they're scared. Ought to be Diamond City's motto. Hold on, Sullivan. Just to make God wait a little longer. You gotta listen. Mayor McDonough, I saw him with one of those Institute synths. Piper was right. He's one of them. McDonough is a synth. Oh, God. What do we do now? You can stop standing around. Someone get a doctor. Uh, <clears throat> Two slugs in the gut, plus the fall from the elevator. I ain't gonna make it. Quick, take this stim pack. See? Gonna be right as rain. Thank you. I feel better. If you don't mind, I'm... Uh... I'm just going to stay here for a bit. You there. We need to talk. What seems to be the problem? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son, Nelson. Is this true? I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. <sighs> uh, you are an easy target for anyone trying to shift blame off themselves. If it wasn't you... Then who was it? Do you know who killed Nelson? I have no idea. Well, all right. I'll take your word for it. For now. But if I hear that you were the one lying to me... Let's go up the elevator and see what Mayor McDonough's up to. And right, I'm not waiting for Nick Valentine. Oh, I knew it! I knew you were a 
business with Gunner. Yes, Piper. Congratulations, you won. I hope you break your foot trying to kick that door down. Ugh, damn it, it won't budge. I... I can't believe it. They're gone. The Institute's gone. Do you know what this means? That the Commonwealth is finally safe. Exactly. It means no more kidnappings. No more sleepless nights terrified your neighbors plotting against you. No more fear. Thanks to you, we don't have to be afraid anymore. They don't have to be afraid thanks to us. I never could have done this by myself. True. But the Institute was around for a long time before you got here. Not anymore. Welcome to day one of the new Commonwealth. Okay, let's go over here and press this button. That's far enough! Help me! He's crazy! I am not just going to be discarded and tossed to the wolves! I'm the mayor, goddammit! Mayor McDonough, I can help you. But not when you're holding a hostage. Let her go. Oh! All right! She can go. Now, I'll tell you what's going to happen next. I'm walking out of this city, unharmed, with my dignity intact. You're not getting off the hook that easy, McDonough. You have to answer for what you've done. I'm either walking out of the city a free man, or I'm killing as many of you disgusting, filthy savages as I can. You're going to stand trial. And these people are going to have justice. Lord knows you've got plenty to answer for. Trial? Please. You know how these people feel about synths. I won't be stuck in a prison while they gloat. This is my... <laughs> This is normal for other journalists. He's dead. Huh. I can't say McDonough didn't deserve worse, but... <sighs> Without a mayor, the city council will be next in line to pick up the pieces. Let's hope they do a better job. I don't know when people are going to be ready for another mayoral election. Not going to be soon, that's for sure. But at least now, Diamond City will finally have the truth. And Mayor McDonough's term ends with a bang. Let's head back down the elevator. By the way, Danny Sullivan will give you some caps if you come back the next day. He is over, like when you come out of here, he's just to the left in the guard post. Go ahead and go into our pit boy. We're going to go over to the radio and listen to Valentine's Detective Agency Radio. This is Ellie Perkins from Valentine's Detective Agency with a message for Nick's partner. We've got a new case and it sounds urgent. Stop by the office. I'll be waiting. Setting this to repeat. Got small arms, long arms, ammunition. Miss Perkins, glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. 
Guy had a worried look a mile long. Anything you can tell me about Kenji Nakano? Just some impressions. He was obviously upset, but he was also in a hurry, like he couldn't stand just waiting around. I'm a friend of Nick's. He'll remember me. I need his help right away. And then he was gone. He was muttering something on the way out, but... No. I'm not sure it was important. Come on, Ellie. Don't hold out on me. What did he say? Well, I thought I heard him say something about a daughter and also a radio, but I might have misheard him. Not sure how the two would be connected. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. <laughs> That's how the hard cases always start. Let's come over here. I forgot to grab this Robco Fun earlier. Nice. This is going to be the Zeta Invaders holotape game. So much knowledge was lost when the bombs hit. Good to see someone trying to bring it back. I'll let everybody read this. Be careful when you head over to the Nakano residence. That whole area is pretty isolated. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. I've been meaning to put Earl's case to bed for a while now. Glad you're up for it. So, what's your take on the case, Ellie? On Earl? Well, he didn't have any enemies, that's for sure. Someone would have to notice you're alive first. And Earl didn't exactly have the charisma to inspire any crimes of passion. So what's that leave us? I don't know, Nick. It can't be the Institute, right? Hmm. I guess we'll just have to see. I wonder what the story is between Mr. Nakano and Nick. Let's go solve the Earl case first, and then we're going to head over to talk to the Nakanos. Hold up. I need some answers from you. I'm glad to help. Just a few things to clear up. Paul Pembroke tells me that you killed Henry Cook. What do you say to that? I don't know who killed him, but it wasn't me. I should kill you just in case. But I don't kill people unless I'm sure they need killing. And I'm not sure about you yet. That explosion came from the old CIT ruins. I mean, if you believe the stories of history. That explosion came from the old CIT ruins. I mean, if you believe the stories. Or... Gonna talk to Vadim in the dugout inn. <sighs> Look at this place. What Vadim. Ah, yes, you. <laughs> Famous bobber of liquor, on tap all day. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Now, let me pour you a drink. Come on. Not now. <sighs> fine, fine. Let's go over to Earl's place. Earl's house is right God, here. Did you see that explosion? I'll start in here. Why don't you check out the living room? Must be some hint where that boy ran off to. You know, for all the talk, I'd put the chances of this being an institute snatch job somewhere between zero and none. Just think about it. Earl Sterling, local assistant bartender? Why not nab the bartender himself? Lord knows Vadim samples his own wares enough that some weird behavior wouldn't make anyone bat an eyelash. We're going to grab the surgery receipt. A receipt from the mega surgery center, huh? I wonder what the good doctors have to say about that.
Let's go over here and talk to Dr. Sun. Doc. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, I must insist we talk about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest. Here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Oh, Earl. You've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk about Earl. I didn't mean to do it. You have to believe me. Doc Crocker is a brilliant surgeon. No one dies under his care. No one dies. They just walk away happy. Happy with my work. Happy with their new face. Not screaming. Not bleeding out onto the floor. Earl, he... He just didn't want to be happy. That must have been it. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. And let's not do anything rash. I... I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh... Oh, God. <laughs> well, there's so much blood. So much blood all over me. <laughs> I can fix... anything. <laughs> What's going on here? Is... is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The... the facial reconstruction. So, he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this, this is inhuman. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. That moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. Can't blame ourselves. That man decided to die. Let's go back to Ellie and inform her about the case. The Minutemen are in town. You know, one of these days, I might sign up myself. So, you two find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. 
He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you two had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout inn know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Mr. Nakano seemed like a good sort, trying to make the best of things in a tough world. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? Okay, now let's go ahead and go to our map. What we're going to do is go over to the coastal cottage. Turn on our pit boy lamp. We're going to head north down this road. What's that? <coughs> Couldn't stay <coughs> away, huh? All right. That should be all of them for now. We're going to swing a right here, follow the coastline. There's going to be a few ghouls over here, so be prepared to take them out. First one will be right over there. Something out there. Look who it is. I don't think we're alone. That should be all of them besides the glowing one that's over there. We'll take the glowing one out real quick. Someone's coming. Or not. I think it fell down. Detection system must be on the fritz. No, it's still over there. Oh well, I'm not gonna worry about it. it it's like down over there somewhere. Sometimes explosive ammo can be a curse and not a blessing. Right over here is the Nakano residence. We put our weapon away. There, there's normally not enemies over here. Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. Stop. You need sleep. She's out there, Ray. Someone has her. They could be raiders, or gunners, or God knows what else. I uh, hope you don't mind. We let ourselves in. Nick, thank God. You need to get to work right away. She could be hurt. She could be... Whoa, whoa, slow down. Uh, Kenji, was it? Why did you go over the details with me and my partner here? You have to get to work right away, Detective. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Nick didn't tell you? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end well. We were double-crossed by the client once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. Ah, uh, right. Yeah, it's starting to come back to me. Sorry, things ended sour. We got out. That's all that mattered. And now you can return the favor by finding my daughter. 
We're here to help. Tell us what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No, she would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. Do you have any idea where she could have gone? We know she took one of the boats, but that's all. She could be anywhere. We'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Don't worry, Kenji. We'll get to the bottom of this. Just sit tight. Mr. Nakano. Did you have questions? About my daughter? Why did your daughter really leave? Your wife says she left on her own, but you said it was kidnappers. I know it was kidnappers. Kasumi is a smart girl, but she doesn't know how horrible people can be. Not like me and Ray. Why would she just leave her family with no explanation? Someone tricked her, got her to leave the safety of home. Every minute we aren't looking for my daughter, her life is in jeopardy. Tell me more about this radio she was fixing. I've tried to get that damn thing to work over and over again, but there's nothing. I thought she just wanted to strip it for parts or build a toaster out of it or something, like she usually does. Someone made contact with her, and then they took her. God, what kind of twisted psychopath has my daughter? Anything more you can tell me about Kasumi? The smallest detail could be important. I don't know what more to say. She's my little girl, and she doesn't know how dangerous this world is. I never should have let her grandfather teach her how to fix these machines. Her grandfather? He taught her how to fix the radio? Ever since she was old enough to walk, yes. Her grandfather had an ear for machines. Kasumi picked up the knack. He passed away recently. He used to scavenge the ruins in the south for parts. I kept telling him he was getting too old. No more questions right now. Work quickly, detective. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. You and your husband don't seem to agree about why your daughter left. <sighs> we both want to find her. The world out there isn't a place where you want to be alone. But Kenji still sees her swaddled in diapers. He doesn't see a young woman with her own decisions to make. Maybe because it's more frightening. She wasn't tricked into leaving without telling us. That was her choice. She didn't want us to follow. Why? Tell me more about this radio your daughter was working on. I remember Kasumi was very excited about it. I figured she was secretly trying to make contact with Diamond City or another settlement. We're pretty isolated out here. She only has us for company, and Kenji can be... overprotective. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now. We're going to explore the house and listen to a bunch of Kasumi's holotapes. <clears throat> Project log. Holotape player. Managed to strip out the parts from this thing and make something that's easier to move around. Granddad always said you need to make a record when you start something. You know, in case you have to go back to it. So I 
guess I'm going to start doing that. Maybe I should start with an inventory of all the parts I found? Kasumi! Your father needs help with the boat! I'll be right there. Oh, damn. Was I recording that? Ugh. Project blog, Radiation King Television. Mom says these things actually used to broadcast pictures and sounds back before the war. She also mentioned that some of the ruins of the television studios are still around if you head to the city. Of course, she wasn't too happy when I asked if we could make a trip out there. Ugh, I'm getting off track. I managed to repair the vacuum tubes and got the power working again, but, well, it's not like there's any working signal for this thing to receive. I'm just going to start stripping this thing for parts moving forward. Project log, kitchen mixer. The circuits are still good, but all the mechanical parts are rusted through. <sighs> Maybe I can... All right, everyone. I'll be back in a few days. Was there anything else we needed from the city? Wait, you're going now? No! Wait, Dad, I, I could come with you. I... It is better if I go alone, Kasumi. Do not worry. I have your list. You... You don't know what half that list is, Dad. I can help you. Really, I'll be... I said no. I... I'm sorry. You're safe here, okay? Just stay put for me. <sighs> okay. I know you're disappointed, but I won't be long. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Project log, lamp. Yep, it's a lamp. Filament plus power equals light. I swear, sometimes I think my parents break these things just to keep me busy. Looks like this is Kasumi's room. Let's see if she left any clues about where she went. Project log? Radio. Correction? Working radio. I'll finally get some news outside this house. My handle is going to be... Let's go with... Ohm's Law. That should confuse the creeps. And if someone actually gets the reference, then we'll at least have circuitry in common. Project log, dreams. Recording what I can remember when I wake up. I keep having the same one. I'm in a white room. People are talking about me like I'm not there, or maybe they just don't care. And then there's this, I don't know, jolt, like a spark of electricity to the back of my head, and then everyone turns to look at me. God, I... Hope I don't have it again tonight. We're gonna come out the back door here. Come over to the swing set. Let's take a look around. Project log, swings. Reattach the chains, a little rusted, and I'm way too old for them now, but it was a nice distraction, I guess. It's funny, you know, I never played on these swings growing up, even when I was little. At least, I don't remember. Now we're gonna go into this boathouse. We're gonna examine the picture frame. We'll get the hidden key. A hidden key, huh? Good work. Just gotta find whatever it unlocks. This is a clue to how to find the key. Project log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God, where do I start? 
start. The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They're trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but then they started asking about me and some questions came up. Questions I don't have answers to. I mean, I've always felt off, like I'm not really supposed to be here, but then there are things in my childhood I can't remember and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm going to go. To meet these synths, I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. So, the daughter takes off by boat. But more importantly, there's a colony of synths up near this Far Harbor. We need a way to get there. Let's go talk to Kenji. He knows the waters better than anyone. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. Maybe your daughter is just confused. Having an identity crisis. Oh, God. Does she even think we're still her parents? This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. Did you find where Kasumi went, detective? I think Kasumi took off somewhere up north. Do you know what's up there? Where specifically? I've been up the coast, almost to where the waters start to freeze, but that's a lot of miles. I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. You have to go after her. Please, take my other ship on the dock outside. My father's design. It has a guidance system. And it is built for distance. What can I expect out there, Kenji? I only made the trip to Far Harbor once, when I was a boy. All I remember is that my father did not want to stay long. Something about the air being bad. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. I know it'll be hard waiting for word, but try to carry on like normal. We'll be back as soon as we can. Fine, Kasumi. Please. Let's go out to the boat and head to Far Harbor. Now, before we head to Far Harbor, you do not have to bring Nick Valentine with you. But I prefer to because this DLC was kind of built around him. And a lot of stuff is going to come out about Nick's backstory. So we're going to roll with Nick the whole time that we're going to Far Harbor. Or that we're in Far Harbor, not going to it. Alright, here we go. Everybody say bye to the Commonwealth. We won't be back here for a while, I think. We'll see. I don't know.
up, Alan. We got visitors. Mainlanders ain't nothing but trouble. Put the damn gun down. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So uh, what's your business here? What is this place? Well, in ancient times, this used to be a tourist town. My people have lived here and on the island for generations. But now everyone's crowded onto the docks just trying to survive another day. We have more than our fair share of problems. You aren't here to add to them, are you? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Well, at least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hull never lets us down. Now follow me! Be careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. the hall something's out there I'm gonna hop down you sure you saw something this ain't a drill what the hell eyes peeled everyone the gate open the gate I've got wounded out here Mariner? there's no time look to the fog they're coming Gulpers! Oh, God! Huh? Defend yourselves! Ready on! Fire at will! What? Watch yourself! There! Hunters! Look out! <coughs> Won't underestimate us again. It's over. No. Eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Hmm? I guess my good karma's paying off. Clear. All right. Well done, all. Open the gate. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it. You deserve this. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog, that are hard fallout. And as deadly as that is, that's only part of the problem. Things live in the fog, thrive. You think what attacked the harbor's bad? Oh, there's far worse further inland. You've lost the whole island? Ah, oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. But then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. If you manage to survive despite all that... You must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. Worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. 
If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. What did he do to the preacher? Alan pulled a gun on him. He claims the preacher reached for his. We don't have police, or really any law. Just custom and popular sentiment. And after everything the preacher said, it was abundantly clear doing anything to Alan would have made matters worse. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. What's old Longfellow's story? He's the best hunter on the island. Fearless. <laughs> Some say crazy. If someone needs to get to Acadia, he's the only one that'll do it. But uh, people around here are known for being stubborn, willful, and other less flattering things. But Longfellow's got a reputation even among us. What can you tell me about Acadia? Ask Longfellow. He's the only one that's been there. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. Don't let the island catch you off guard. Buy my guns. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.